Here's what's on the menu for today. Oh, and welcome to Delala's Everyday Soul. I want to have today. She got on my nerves so bad. When you... You know? So it's this kind of thing, like the platter I'm going to post later for you that I did yesterday. Oh, you're going to post it? No, you're <laughs> going to post it. <laughs> tell you it was so good. I thought I was going to kill myself. <laughs> so, what do what you I keep was, pulling What I was head? going to say <laughs> was we need to say hello to our YouTube family. Oh, yes, absolutely. Which we, is over here. Oh. Hello, YouTube <laughs> family. How are you this morning? Oh, my gosh. Welcome to Delala's Everyday welcome, Soul. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning, and YouTube. Thank you. Or and hello to YouTube, because it may not be morning. Thank you. And who is this? IG? <laughs> I'm just going to thank everybody, okay? Did you have coffee? Not yet. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, wow. That's a problem. I started my water Mom. bowl. Yes. <laughs> what do you keep stopping me for today? Breathe. Okay. So I want to tell you something. What? Okay. So on YouTube, okay. you know our last video that we loaded, which has yes. been a, about a week ago that we loaded it up. Which one was the double eggs, the barbecue? No. Who the, was the barbecue. Okay. The barbecue video. We hit, what do you think? So we don't take too long. 75. 90. Oh, thank you. Where's the YouTube people? <laughs> 90,000. 90,000 views, guys, thank on our last you. video. So if you haven't gone over to our YouTube page, which is the same name, Delilah's Everyday Soul. So I hope that you're happy and you continue to tune in and watch and what do you call it? Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> whatever and share. it is, and share, and yes. I thank you. We're going to hit that hundred thousand. So, so we're going to say thank you because Facebook That's friends right. and family started. They started it. it, and you guys have just carried it along. Thank so, you, Alvis. Okay, so now, so now go. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank God. Good morning, everyone. So good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I am making a pasta salad with shrimp. I'm using linguine pasta. Okay? You can use linguine spaghetti fettuccine. I like the linguine because it's got it's flat and it has a little whiff to the uh, pasta. Scallions, fresh parsley. This is Italian parsley because this dish really kind of lends Italian. So we have lemon, fresh squeezed lemon juice, not from concentrate, okay? That's what I want you to know. Uh, these are sun-dried tomatoes that have been soaked in olive oil. You can buy them dry or you can buy them already soaked in olive oil. Just read the ingredients on the jar to make sure that's all that's in there, all right? So that's what we have here. This we call a pickle relish or a hot relish. So it's kind of the relish that you use on hoagies from Philly mm. that they kind of put on there. It gives you a little heat, but it gives you some pickling and it gives you some um, pepper. So that's the pickle relish. This is a little uh, Asian chili, mm. okay? Salt and pepper, very simple. So now, water we need for our pasta, water boiling. And water boiling for our shrimp. So the water for our pasta, we're gonna put some salt in there. And it's already boiling, but you, this is what uh, helps to flavor the pasta. And I'm also gonna go into it with some olive oil. And that helps the pasta from sticking, all right? 
Over here, it's a different situation. This is a stock that I have going on for my shrimp because I want the shrimp to have some flavor as well. So I've got celery, parsley, lemon, and you can just put it in there, skin and all. That doesn't matter. You're not eating that. You know, just wash it though. You need to wash it. So you put all that in there. I've got some garlic down in here, see? And you could smash it. It doesn't matter. Just let it boil down. And I did put salt in this as well already. So no need to add more salt there. So since our pasta, because I want to get this pasta going, that's why I put my water on so that it could start rolling because uh, I should use scissors. <laughs> so mom, a question for you I while you're doing scissors. that. Yes. So will the salad be a little spicy because you have the relish and the aging? A little bit, and it depends on how much you put in there. Okay. It's only the relish. The, this is a real, we're not putting a lot of that. As you see, look how many sun-dried sun tomatoes. We're not gonna put a lot, but that's up to you. You can buy this sweet. You don't have to buy this hot, okay? And you can also buy this sweet. So that's up to you and your family and your taste. All right. Thank you. Now, for it, any of you Italians that are on here right now is where you're going to kill me. Oh, I wonder if Italians do not break the pasta. Oh. All right. Laura is probably about to have a breakdown right now. Can you break all that at once? That's a lot. No. You want to go? <laughs> go ahead, can you? No. <laughs> No. Okay. <laughs> so you break <laughs> I'm like, you can't break all of that at once. So we break the pasta, we drop it in the boiling water. Of course your water stops boiling. Uh, so we're looking at something pretty much like this. All right? 16, 20 shrimps. All right, so I just wanted to drain that water off of them. Some people know, but I don't know if everyone knows about when you clean shrimp what you need to do. Okay, so these are already clean. They've been deveined. It's called deveined. So as you see, see this shrimp opens down the back? This is removing that dark line that runs in the, the center. Poop. Yes, and they've already been deveined. I wasn't gonna go there, Delaney. <laughs> That's what it is. But shrimp uh, cook very quickly. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't take that long. So while that pasta is going, because shrimp cook in like three minutes. So they don't take long to cook. And I like to make this salad when it's warm and then I refrigerate it and get it cold. Um, I feel like the ingredients go together better when it's warm as opposed to if I chill my shrimp, chill my pasta, it kind of doesn't blend um, and pick up the flavors as nicely as when you just leave it. Mm, that's a great point. And this is a quick meal. So I'm, this meal would actually serve more than eight people because we're yeah, using- that's a lot of shrimp. Yeah, well you want shrimp in it. Yeah. It is a shrimp pasta. I just wanted you to know that there is another way to make shrimp pasta without it being elbow macaroni, celery, onion, egg, green pepper chopped, uh, that country southern way. This is a more uh, elegant, sophisticated, show off dish. Oh, you know, when you want to impress. So, so I guess you're showing off to your grandkids today. We are impressing <laughs> today. <laughs> As you see, I'm stirring through my pasta. Why am I stirring through it? It's been boiling a little bit and I don't want it to start clunking together. So it's important that you don't let that pasta start to stick because if it sticks, it's done. The other thing is, instead of using a dry pasta, a fresh pasta is so very nice. So very nice. And it cooks so quickly. But if you're gonna get a dry pasta, just get something that's a good quality product. Not to waste the shells. <laughs> the shells are gonna get flavor as well. So we're gonna throw them in. And I'm gonna look, let them cook in there. Look how quickly they turn. 
That's how fast. And this is how fast. You see the color of that shell? That's mm -hmm. the color of your shrimp. That's when they're done. Yes, That's it. Does make one That's it. Handy. Thank you. Because I don't want them with uh, water in them. So I'm just drying them down so they can now suck up that liquid. I'm taking out our extra, all that, that I put in there to give me some flavor in this water so it's not just straight water. Might have a little couple things left, but it's not the end of the world. I got most of it out. Take that out. Shrimp is going in. Okay, so before, oh, go ahead, you can put them in. Thank you. I was going to say, so <laughs> tell us again what ingredients you put in to make the stock. To make the stock, I yes. put in the uh, shrimp shells, uh, the tails uh, shell, onion, garlic, parsley, mm, celery, salt. Was there a lemon? Lemon. Yep. That's it. So no oil in this, no butter. No oil, no butter, no, no, no. So this is a really no. Light, this is no, no, no. Healthy. You're gonna get the oil. The oil's coming in the dressing, mm -hmm. so you don't need the oil. You see, our water has stopped boiling, but our shrimp are cooking. So don't think just because the water is not boiling, that water was hot. Back over to our pasta. We could be about there, I do believe. And oil is in the pasta as well. So you got oil in your dressing, you got oil in your pasta. And this isn't a butter dish because it's not a hot dish. This is something you're gonna have cold. So you don't necessarily wanna use butter. Butter um, is more for cooking hot than cooking cold. So my Raina says, uh, Jazzy Jeff is doing a cooking show and he said the way that you know, which which I've heard people say before, that pasta is done is you can take it and throw it and it'll stick to your wall. Yeah, the starch is all on the outside so I can believe that. <laughs> That's that little bite I told you in the inside is gone. This, it's extracted out. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but we're not throwing anything against the wall <laughs> in my house. <laughs> so. I'm gonna take it off the heat. I'm gonna pour it into a colander strainer. I've got cold water running. And I'm gonna cool it down. So that quickly, that pasta, you wanna toss that in that cold water to get all of that off. Now, Laura, who is Italian, she takes a little bit of the water from her pasta and she adds it when making her spaghetti and meat sauce, mm -hmm. or she puts a little of that starchy water in it. Mm -hmm. But again, we're doing a salad. It's all cooled down, it's all loose. So when you rinse the pasta, doesn't it rinse the salt away? Some of it. But because the salt was in the water, it cooks exactly. into the pasta. Exactly. Shrimp done. Got it? We're periodically freezing on Facebook. Mm. Mm. Sorry about that. Shrimp Not is sure. done. How quick was that? Beautiful. Mm, looks good. Yeah. Looks really and good. And it's a nice size. I would not cut these shrimp, so I have another colander for this. I want to strain them. I have already washed my scallion. I've taken the root off. That was that end with the roots from the ground. I've taken that off. They're all clean. Let me take this. Sorry that um, Facebook may be freezing up. Um, not on my I got something. Network. I got something in the mail. I was going to show you and Jason about uh, upgrading the internet here. Oh boy. Maybe I should do it. I don't know. <laughs> you oh know, boy. I, I only use internet for Alexa. We know. 
See, she had tips. See, look, she responded just like that. Alexa. We, we don't she, want Alexa she, to play. <laughs> Throw that in, I'm gonna chop this up as well. Cause I, I, for the amount of pasta, we need all of this. I don't have bowls that big. Now I might go mix it in a pot. Flat parsley, okay? Italian flat parsley. See, people are saying that's a big bowl. Y'all, oh, come on now. Who are y'all cooking for? Now, this is the one thing about parsley oh and scallion and cutting anything green. It needs to be dry. You do not want, so you gotta wash it ahead of time and let it dry out. You do not want wet because it will turn everything white green, okay? So you don't wanna do that. So, our sun-dried tomatoes. This is gonna be so good. This is gonna be fabulous looking too. I'm gonna go get me a big bowl now. <laughs> Fabulous looking too. <laughs> and you saw I drained that olive oil out because I'm going to make a dressing. <laughs> Pasta. This is looking good. Yes, it is. Smells good too. I can smell those sun dried tomatoes. And sun dried tomatoes are very intense. Very intense. Very intense. So you have to be careful with them. So this really, um, to your point, Mom, like it will be a little bit on the lighter side, but the, the pasta nice, will help to light. fill. It is a nice, light But it won't salad. have all that heavy dressing. No. Know? Yeah. No, now. I have to wash my hands. This whole, I wash my hands 50,000 times a day, I do believe. And then... Every night, I'm up there putting hand cream, trying to get my hands back to normal after I've killed them over the day from a million. Black pepper. That and was that was prior three, to three three my mom. heavy pen. What, washing your hands? Like, you have yeah. to wash your hands because it just gets messy. Yeah. Salt. That was a big old heavy pinch, right? One, two, big old heavy pinch, okay? Which was probably about two of those spoonfuls that I showed you early. Oh, this smells good. It does. Ooh, it's gonna smell better when I put that in there. Mm. <laughs> and I forgot about that until you mentioned it. So, okay, salad dressing is acid and oil. Everything else you add to salad dressing is flavor. These are the two components, acid and oil. So it's usually one part, let me measure. I'm gonna measure. So it's usually one part acid to four parts oil, if that helps you guys. One part acid, four mm -hmm. parts oil. Okay. So there's my one part acid, okay? And what was that again? I'm sorry. What? That's lemon acid. juice. Lemon juice. It's lemon juice. So stuff on lemon juice, juice is going to brighten everything. So that's why the lemon juice is great for it. <laughs> and this should be a drizzle. You don't just pour it in there. You're going to drizzle. And I'm just doing this for y'all because normally I can just go and I know when I've got enough. But if you're making it, it could be one teaspoon to four teaspoons. It's just that one to four. And why is it four? So that the, so for this particular one, because I'm using the lemon juice, it won't overpower. So the lemon juice is so much stronger than the olive oil. And this, again, is something you can make have in your refrigerator. Yes, yeah, so this is a vinaigrette. This is yeah, basically so what a that's what dressing is. is. The mm -hmm. only difference is the creamy ones have dairy in them. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what makes it creamy. And again, we're going to put a little salt. If I were making this for me, at this point, I would put uh, pepper, white or yeah, red, and I probably... You need to put a little pepper, please. Thank you very much. 
That make you feel better? It does. Make me feel much better. I was getting ready to say, <laughs> I would use cracked pepper in, in my, on top of whatever I'm putting it on, as opposed to putting the pepper in my dressing, and I got these little flakes all over the place. It's fine once it's all mixed in. All right, so I have my dressing, which is more than I need for this salad, so we're not putting all of that in here. And so you're dressing the pasta before you put the shrimp in? Yes. See, I would have done that in the reverse. I would have put the shrimp in. So, mm. so why? I want that pasta to absorb mm. that dressing. Gotcha. I want the shrimp to stand up on their own and you taste the shrimp. Mm -hmm. So if I had put them in and then dressed it, I would get the shrimp would start to taste like my vinaigrette. Okay. And I didn't want that. I want this for the pasta and then that shrimp goes in and it stands up on its own. Okay. All right. So you see my mom doesn't have uh, any spoons or anything. It's just a little <laughs> pinch here and there of the items, tossing it with her hands. You know, she's told you that things mix better with your hands. You can feel it. You cannot feel the texture of this with a spoon. And that's one of the reasons why she washes her hands all, right. all the you time. You cannot feel the texture of this with tongs. And tongs are going to break it up. It's going to break your pasta. You don't want it. You want to go up under and toss. You're tossing this. That is your mix. You're not squeezing it. You're not in there. You're just talk. Because <laughs> you're not. You know, people get in there. You're not massaging it. You're just going under and you're tossing. Just to mix and blend, mix and blend all of those things together. All right. Our shrimp have been over there cooling and draining. I see a garlic clove. I don't want those in there. So I missed a couple. So make sure you don't drop that in there. Yeah, in a shell. Somebody bites into that big piece of garlic, they'll be ready to kill you. Okay. Oh, look how pretty that is. So this is a nice, light pasta. Oh, so mom, Angela says to let you know that she's watching on her phone today because she's fishing with her granddaughter jealous, in I'm Williamstown jealous, I'm at Collins Lake. <laughs> I'm jealous, I'm jealous, I'm jealous. <laughs> so all of you know I love fishing. Have you caught anything yet? What are you fishing for? <laughs> right? Is it bass? What are you fishing for in that lake? In Williamstown, New Jersey? Mm -hmm. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. <laughs> <sighs> so, so Patricia says, Mom, it looks good and definitely a good option um, without mayo and a different choice, you know, for the summer. Yes. It looks really good, guys. If you're just logging in, welcome. My mom is has made a shrimp pasta salad. And if you didn't catch it from the beginning, no worries. You can always go back. Um, we post it on our site and you can re-watch it from the beginning to see all the steps. But thank you, thank you for joining us. Thank you for our long time um, viewers. And thank you for people who this is your first time. We hope you come back. And join us every Saturday at 10 a.m. So, this is Eat With Your Eyes and Bone Appetite. Yes. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed it. And we're getting ready to eat. Yes. That's my breakfast today. Thank you for joining us. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Yep. Right there, go ahead and subscribe and be sure to tell a friend. See you next time.